I have not done the East End there. deal. You know, That's scary. We hadn't done. I have not done anything on the East End deal either. If you talk, talking to the property owners to kind of gauge any interest. Because we got semis there now. Just... Uh, I follow. Spot for I, I, sure. I have nothing to get sent up here. When they're hauling grain, it's uh, 4.30 in the morning. Maybe we should switch that to industrial. But that's that's good move. There. That's there you go. Move, 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 move them out there. More parts. Wish I had my 55 still. I want to go to donate this. the ground to them. I want to go back in this five vehicle thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, that's a whole different salvage yard. That's shod and salvage yard. So Denny's a salvage yard? No. <laughs> Stutter. Stutter. Well, no. Because I, I do want to confirm whether it says five vehicles or five junk vehicles. It may say five junk uh, vehicles. Inoperable type. Yeah. Right. Well, there would be people that argue what I have is junk. We have a definition of junk, and your stuff is not junk. <laughs> Jeez, uh, I just said that. I just want to make sure I don't get in trouble. <laughs> I think you're good to get in trouble. Okay, right. we're done with that issue. We are done with that issue. I'm going to start the fire. I know, it's terrible to get in I talked to Tim, stuff. I called him. Yeah, this just reminds me a little bit of, you know, when we did the, the city, the, the, you know, down Main Street. Oh, yeah, you don't yeah. want to, I just can't get myself to run somebody out of business. And that looks like that's what's trying to happen. So long as you can ask your, in your own mind that it truly is a business serving a purpose of some sort. You know? Even if it isn't, I think. I know you're a private property rights guy. Well, <laughs> well yeah. we, we went, I think the thing is, is we went through the process, and not like Marianne was saying, Bob, and prior councils said, you're okay as long as you do this, and they've done all that. You know, if somebody had a, uh, a vehicle in their yard, and it was, it was uh, on blocks, we'd be all over them. Mm -hmm. And we have 400 of them down there yeah. on blocks. Yeah. And we, we looked the other way. Um, to, a, to an extent. Not completely. Right. Yeah. I mean, they, they city just, asked them to put up a no. plan. And, I, and that's where I'm coming from, is that we've so. given them some requirements that they have to do this in order to continue to do the operation like it is. And, and so, you know, you, you feel like... They've done. They've done, done them, the you know, and now they're going to change the rules on them again. But uh, you know, I, there's just so much animosity between the city council and uh, and the junkyard that it just seems like they keep trying different. But I, I do, I really do feel that there is a potential there that we, we could have a huge problem. I agree. Because uh, you know, if you truly look at this as a land use deal, <coughs> yeah, I agree. I, yeah, but I, I'm, I'm not arguing. I just, I'm not arguing that either. I didn't. I just. It should be. Actually, it probably should be residential. Even probably shouldn't even be commercial. Well, other than being consistent across the the uh, highway corridor, it's fair everything enough. consistent yeah. across the highway corridor is basically industrial, commercial. If it was commercial, they would they would just leave them alone. They wouldn't have any problem with that. But they're not going to. Yeah. If. if I, I yeah. Think that's exactly right. I mean, and I and I talked to Tim. Yeah. Before I even knew what we were doing, <coughs> and that, I, I felt like that's what he said too. That he, they're all probably okay with being commercial as long as yeah. we don't restrict. Yeah, I talked to Tim about that. What happens? And I says I don't know what happens, Tim. That's why I was curious. But mm -hmm. it looks to me like if we make it commercial, the, the door opens to make a move. It. Well, it just puts or the ball in their business. court. It just puts the ball in their court. If they want to be a business, that's fine. Be a business. Yeah, All they have, have to do is have a phone line. I They've got to have the shop. Dear, I don't know if they have to be a business. To me, they, they're mm -hmm. grandfathered in just the way it sits. And as long mm -hmm. as it sits and doesn't get any worse. See, I'm, I'm, I'm for that too. Grandfather men will let them be. Yeah. It, it's going to take care of itself. I mean, within five years, it'll all be resolved. 
Yeah. Pauline's in the nursing home. That's right. Well, I don't know about that. Yeah, I guess you just never know. We don't know what the future holds. Well, you don't. I don't. But as far as the way it looks, my goodness. Just drive down there and look to the left instead of looking to the right. 